Bitcoin is still trading inside of this gigantic bear trap and at the same time volatility is still sitting at all time lows so this is truly the calm before the storm and that is why I'm prepared with this long position on BitGet because I'm looking to be riding this long position all the way up towards this 38k level at the very least so make sure you do not get fooled over here and without further ado as always let's start off with the imminent short term and even though not a lot of things have been happening during the course of this weekend, we can be seeing that some interesting signals have been getting formed during this weekend. Okay, now first of all, we have been saying that during the course of the weekend, probably we are going to be consolidating around this CME close price, which in this case was at about the 29.4k level. And yes, indeed, we have been consolidating around this level. And I do expect in the beginning of next week, we are going to be trading at about this level. Now, of course, very important. Well, we have been breaking out of this falling wedge pattern and we are right now beautifully retesting this breakout towards the upside. Now, a very important signal that we have been right now developing is actually that we are starting to form some kind of an uptrend in the imminent short term. Of course, we have been creating lower highs all of the time during this downtrend. But right now, actually, we have broken our downtrend structure. And right here, as you can be seeing, we created a higher high right here. And we created an even higher high right here. Okay, just like on the bo bottom side, we have also been creating a lower high and right here as well lower high and right now we are in the process of forming another lower high now what will be very important to have a look towards is if we are either in the end of the day going to be breaking this one towards the upside or if we are going to be breaking this one towards the downside of course we already do know that volatility is sitting at all of these all-time lows so we already do know that that volatility is about to return towards the market and whenever we are going to be creating our move well our move will be absolutely massive right here for example at our bear market bottom we absolutely saw lowest amount of volatility ever but actually right now we are trading at even lower stages well right here we created a 40 percent move towards the upside in the course of about two weeks so right now we are going to be expecting a similar move either towards the downside or towards the upside either way we are about to expect massive volatility coming in and i think this consolidation range will be decisive if we are either going to be getting this break towards the upside or this break towards the downside that is going to be indicating which direction we will be getting our volatility in towards now in my opinion what is absolutely massive is that we can be seeing that there is a lot of buying volume going on on bitmax and all of the previous times you could be seeing that whenever this happened on bitmax well we could be seeing huge swings towards the upside being created so well is this a coincidence i don't think so we are seeing this huge a signal flashing right now and this is suggesting that we are about to get a massive move towards the upside being created and at the same time we are of course seeing this low amount of volatility so i do not think this is a coincidence i do think in the end of the day we are going to be getting this huge move towards the upside being created and of course at the same time we are seeing that we are breaking this uh, consolidation range that we have been creating earlier well we have broken this one towards the downside but actually what we could be seeing is that volume is not returning in towards the market as you can be seeing at the course of this breakdown we could be seeing that no volume at all was returning in towards the market and this is basically suggesting that we have been creating a fake breakdown and that this breakdown towards the downside was not very valid and that is leading me into thinking that this was actually basically just a bear trap that is why i've positioned myself with this long position and having a look in towards all of the long-term charts it is all starting to look very good literally all of these long-term charts are still looking like a lot more upside is imminent we are getting so many bullish signals right now in the bitcoin charts getting created for example we are 
testing right now this perfect EMA. We are literally getting a bounce from of this perfect EMA. This Bitcoin structure in the longer term is looking very good. And of course, we can be seeing that at the same time, sellers are getting exhausted. So well, the daily trend is still towards the upside and actually having a look in towards the on-chain indicators, it is not looking like this daily trend is about to stop anytime soon. And we still do have a lot more room for upside. We are not looking exhausted at all. And that is why I'm thinking that the trend is just your friend. And that is why I'm rather longing the Bitcoin market. And I still do think we can be getting another push towards the upside being created. So guys, be warned right here, because this is looking like a pretty significant Bitcoin bear trap. Look, in the end of the day, I'm just going to be watching what is going to be happening with this consolidation range. If we are either going to be getting this break towards the upside or towards the downside. But if I were to be having a look in towards all of the longer term charts, the odds are just stacked that we are actually going to be getting this break towards the upside. So, well, let's have a look in which direction we are actually going to be breaking out of. Be sure to be following me on Twitter to stay up to date. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.